Hello there guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the album Drones by Muse. They're a British band that I really really love. So first things first, is it any good? Yeah, it is a pretty good album. It's got a pretty nice track listing to be honest. This was released kind of like, they released songs one after another. So I've been on the hype train like the entire time. Her Psycho and her Dead Inside, I loved every single one of the songs. I thought I'd review this album first because I thought it would be quite a special one for me. We'll go for it by track by track, Dead Inside. It's a really really good opener, sounds fantastic. It's not exactly my favourite one out of all of them. Quite a second law style sound to it so if you like the second law you're definitely gonna like this song i reckon drill sergeant and psycho drill sergeant is like the sort of thing about sergeant talking or something like that goes into psycho it's a really good song it's very punchy it has a very uprising sort of feel to it the lyrics aren't great the lyrics aren't fantastic i'm gonna warn you now there are some pretty bad lyrics in there but the song itself is very punchy very good and personally i really enjoy it the best no but still one that i would definitely listen to a lot next up we have mercy basically the one that i would say is most like the muse that i was introduced to which was the black hole revelation muse it definitely has a sort of style like vibe to it so if you like black holes it's one of those songs i reckon you're really gonna like it's a fantastic song got a very catchy chorus it doesn't really lead up to anything that's a bit of a problem with it but still it's one i've shown quite a lot of people to get them into muse and they really really like the song so hey I think it's a pretty good representation of Muse themselves. Next up we have Reapers, which is quite a nice long song. I really, really do like it. It's got a nice build up. I first wasn't too keen on it, and it just grew on me, which I find a lot with the old Muse. But Reapers is a really good song. As a few lines in it, I'm not too keen on, but you know, it's nothing to put you off the song. This is all in my opinion, and I personally think it's a really good song. Definitely one of those ones that I reckon represents Muse really well. After Reapers, we have the one that in my opinion is the most liked, the Back to Basics, which is The Handler. I don't really remember The Handler too much, sadly. I remember the tune of it, but it's one of those ones that the chorus doesn't mention the handler so i kind of forget it every now and again which is i guess maybe some sort of criticism but it still it shouldn't put you off this track is brilliant very catchy very muse and just overall very very enjoyable to listen to and so with jeff ken defector and i must say the transition between jeff ken defector is incredible you don't even notice it's changed the song i really do love that that's something that muse are very good at and they've certainly not faltered here jeff k is just literally john f kennedy talking and then it goes straight into defector which is definitely one of like, the strangest new songs I've heard in a long time, but I absolutely love it to pieces. It's very odd, it's got a very sort of Queen-esque feel to it, but I think that it's one of the best songs on there. It's definitely one that I've listened to time and time and again. Next up we have my personal favourite on the album, which is Revolt. Revolt is probably the least like Muse maybe out of the whole album, but it's definitely got a sort of rock feel, maybe sort of alt-rock, which is why I kind of like it, because that's the sort of music that I used to listen to. I think that Revolt has a really cool intro and then it builds into it. I think the chorus is amazing. I really love this song. It could be one of my favourite Muse songs, in a very very long time it's in my opinion that good but i know that other people may see otherwise next up we have aftermath which has a sort of nice slow sort of feeling to it it's kind of got a sort of like soldier's poem vibe it's a really nice song it just really does that it's nothing like epic it doesn't stand out at all but it's just a nice song it's smooth and after such punchy songs we've had before it's quite a nice sort of break from that next we have the globalist globalist is a 10 minute extravaganza but globalist does actually work i was quite critical of it when i first heard it but after re listens to it it's actually got quite a nice sound and the 10 minutes actually works very well it goes from sort of quiet sound to a very sort of loud and punchy and classic guitar sound it, it sounds very good and the transition into drones the final song on the album is very good drones personally is my least favorite but it's got a very very nice sort of layered feeling to it it's got loads and loads of different layers on it with matt bellamy saying loads of different things one of my problems with the album is just a consistent usage of the word drones and the constant focus on this killing by drones now drones is a very big topical thing it's an absolutely terrifying thing to be honest and i think it's a very interesting thing for Muse to cover. But I feel like, unlike some of their other songs where it's a little bit subtler, they've kind of just gone really, really blunt on drones. And maybe that was the idea of it. And if so, then kudos to them because they've done a really, really good job at that. But personally, for me, I feel that it can fall onto the side of cheesy sometimes in some of the lyrics. But it shouldn't put you off the album. And as I said before, this is all in my opinion. You have to remember that. Overall, I think Drones is an excellent album. It's certainly very good of Muse. It represents them very well. It does have the Back to Basics feel, mostly, actually. It's definitely got quite a range of sort of Muse. You've got a lot of different styles that are in there, and I think that's something really good. Personally, I'd use Drones as an album to introduce people to Muse because it's got such a range of sounds that it would give them ideas of where to go next. For example, if they like Dead Inside, I would show them Second Law. If they like Mercy, I would show them Black Holes, and so on and so on. I think it's a really good album for that. A lot of the reviews that I've seen for drones have said that they wouldn't actually recommend it to a new listener whereas i would say otherwise maybe i'm in the minority there but i genuinely think this is a very good album is it as good as the second law in my opinion i don't know because they're both very different styles and that's the beauty of muse the different 
difference between all their albums. No, none of the albums sound the same. And while some people may find it annoying and may like the consistency of other bands, I genuinely love just how different views can be from songs from like Isolated System to Apocalypse Please. They've got a whole range of sounds and I recommend you listen to their whole discography if you haven't yet. If you want to start with Muse, then this album, Drones, is definitely the one for you to start off with. Overall, I rate Jones probably a 3 out of 4. It's an album that keeps on growing and growing on me, but it does have its faults. The constant mention of drones is a problem in my opinion, but I can see why they may have done it. And if people enjoy that, then fair enough. I might be in the minority here, but as I said, it's all my opinion. Next off, I might be reviewing another album soon. Probably gonna be Jamie XX in Colour, another quite recent one, one I kind of feel quite strongly about. So I would really like to review that one next. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really recommend checking out Drones of Cans on iTunes, Spotify. Just go check it out right now. I just I highly, highly recommend it. Thank you very much guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.